I teach at Brooklyn Emerging Leaders Academy. We are an all-girls public charter school located in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn in District 16. COVID has been really hard on our school community. As a school, we have given students the choice for hybrid learning or fully virtual learning. So teachers come into the building and teach in the classroom to a handful of students in person and the rest are online. It's a little daunting at first to try to juggle having to teach students who are in the room and on the computer at the same time. You want to make sure that you're providing the best education possible and providing all the students with what they need, which can be um, challenging. Technology has played a huge role in keeping everyone connected and safe and still engaged in their learning. Our school provides students with laptops so that every student has access to a personal computer. I teach the ninth grade STEAM class, which covers a lot about technology and digital literacy, and that includes teaching students how to use their laptops, as well as digital tablets and applications on their devices. I was able to transition to hybrid learning a little bit quicker than some teachers and students who are not as familiar with the technology, and I know there are a lot of resources out there right now to support with virtual learning. I want to share some of my favorite tips and tools for hybrid learning and virtual learning. So my first tip for virtual learning and hybrid learning is definitely to find some really good tech tools. And my favorite tool to use is Pear Deck because I can just use it with Google Slides and then make my slides actually interactive so students can respond to questions that I put on the slides. There's three main ways that I like to use Pear Deck. I use it one for games and interactive slides. Uh, two, I use it for exit tickets, check for understandings, and formative assessments. And third, I use it for self-directed learning. For games and interactive slides, I really love using the draw feature. So I had a storyboard assignment where I had the storyboard template on the slide and then students could draw their characters and the storyboard and descriptions because they can add text to it as well. And so that was a really fun activity that students really enjoyed. This was the storyboard assignment. And then I can see who responded, what they drew here. I can also give them feedback. So I can type in a response for their feedback, send it to them, and then you'll see they get a notification and they can actually see what I've said. For games, I really like the escape the room or scavenger hunt idea where you can make a slide and kind of hide clues around. And so you see, I added a clue here on the book and then students would be taken to either a Google form or another Google slide where they would get a clue. And then you know, obviously I know where things are hidden, but students wouldn't know. So they'd have to kind of click around the slide to see where these clues are hidden. For self-directed learning, I can turn on student paste mode. And in that option, students can go through the slides at their own pace. And this is especially helpful for students who may have IEPs or have an accommodation where they may need more time. And then later on in the day, they can go back to those slides and um, continue to work on assignments at their own pace. And students really seem to enjoy getting to use Pear Deck and their tablets to have a more interactive classroom. I like Pear Deck because the slides are interactive. So if the teacher is explaining something that you don't understand, and sometimes some people learn better when they try something out. So with Pear Deck, you're able to try it out on the slides with the drawing tool. I like the drawing tablets because it has many uses, like you can use it for more than one thing. Something I like about using the tablet is that I, like she said, I can use it for multiple things like math, STEAM, or maybe even ELA one day if I have to annotate. And it's just like having a notebook right in front of you, but you're like writing on a tablet, which is pretty cool. And with STEAM, for example, sometimes she, Miss Selena shows us videos where we have to like keep track of what we see in the video. So we have to check boxes on the um, slides and I can use my tablet for that. Hope this video will help you with virtual teaching. Thanks for watching.